This is my painting process of my artwork, Mindfulness. Here I'll be sharing my day in the life as an artist and my thoughts during this process. I admit, I had been a bit distracted this past year. I was preparing to become a dad, and video games grabbed a hold. My art was put aside for a bit longer than I would have liked, but life happens. Other things need your attention too. Time away from your craft can be a necessary part of the process, as long as I'm able to return with intention and discipline. This painting idea started as a sketch in my sketchbook, an attempt at portraying a feeling we combat with as artists. Whether it be artist block, or a motivational issue, I'm prone to fall back into these old thought patterns. Thoughts of discouragement can creep in through the armor, and sometimes these things happen in cycles. But I won't allow myself to be the embodiment of self-pity, a non-forward-moving creature. I believe these negative thoughts are passing wind, and they don't always need your attention. What do I do to defeat artist block? Well, I try to meditate on an emotional connection to my work. And I suppose that can mean a lot of things. And most of the time it's kind of a sorrowful direction for whatever reason. That's what I generally portray with a lot of my art. It's maybe a fragile human condition or some form of suffering. And it's gonna look different for everyone. But I'll meditate on these emotions and I will write them down on my notes and I will create a sketch based off of this feeling. And that could look like anything. It could be a creature, a landscape, whatever it is that you want to create. Uh, so I, what I recommend is writing down your thoughts, sketching out ideas. Just put the pencil down to the paper. Just put the paint on the canvas. You have to get started. Sitting there and just contemplating it, it's not going to get you from point A to B. As an artist, I've spent so many hours just thinking and contemplating what the next move is going to be, when in reality, all you really gotta do is start moving your hand, and then the rest just seems to fall into place and it begins to flow out of you. And the hardest part for everyone, I suppose, is just getting started. But you must get started. When I say meditate, give yourself moments to be at rest, you know, without distractions, put the phone away. Shut the music off, shut the podcast off. Just sit there with your thoughts and write something down. And if you practice this enough, it just becomes easier and easier. And then you'll get to a point where artist block isn't even a thing in your practice. It doesn't exist because you'll either have a backlog of all these ideas and sketches or you've practiced it so much that the ideas just come. By the time you go on to the next, you'll already have an idea worked out or at least partially. For me, it's not even so much artist block as it is a hesitation or a lack of creative energy, whatever you want to describe it as. But this is something we must overcome.